Hello everyone! Imagine you were playing chess online, and you were playing opponent after opponent after opponent, and then out of nowhere uh, an opponent shows up and he's rated somewhere around 2700 something. And you manage to win that game and you feel free, pr pretty good about yourself. And then two months after that game you realize that that opponent was actually Magnus Carlsen, world champion Magnus Carlsen at that. Uh, such is the case what happened here. It's a game between Tal Baron, uh, Israeli Grandmaster, and Magnus Carlsen. Uh, it, the game was played in 2015 on ICC and Magnus Carlsen was using the handle Stop Tryharding. Now, uh, in the description below I will put a link to the original footage of this game uh, from Tal Baron's live stream and uh, feel free to check that out as well. And uh, for those of you who follow uh, what's going on in the chess world on the internet, I'm sure you know there was some controversy to Tal Baron and his uh, cheating on the, on the Title Tuesday event on chess.com, but I will revisit that after I show you the game. So in this game Tal Baron has the white pieces and he plays d4. Uh, we have knight to f6 by Carlsen, c4, e6, knight to c3, and bishop to b4, the Nimzo Indian defense. And here, like in the previous video, <laughs> like Vieco, uh, Talbaron goes for f3, the Kmoch variation. Uh, we have d5, a3 now, kicking the bishop, but bishop captures on c3, uh, b captures on c3, and c5 by Carlsen. Uh, we have c captures on d5, e captures on d5, and e3. Uh, Carlsen castles, and we have bishop to d3. Uh, b6 now and knight to e2, preparing knight to g3 and at some point white would enjoy pushing e4 and e5 definitely if possible. So bishop to a6, now white castles, we have rook to e8, attacking d3 pawn and knight to g3. Uh, bishop captures, queen captures and we have knight to c6. Uh, bishop to b2, now reinforcing the d4 pawn and h5. And in this moment, as you you will see in the original footage if you check it out, uh, there is a thing to consider here. That is pawn to h4. And like I said, white would definitely want to push e4 and d5 if possible. So e4 at this point would be an excellent move if, if, if black would allow it. You have to calculate what happens when black pushes h4. So Baron goes for it. He pushes e4. We have h4 immediately by Carlsen and now knight to f5. D captures on e4, F captures on e4, and knight captures uh, on e4. And here there are a lot of things to consider. Uh, Carlsen just won a pawn, and uh, if you'd want to play the absolute most precise move, that would be rook a to e1, where white gets most uh, for his pawn. Uh, but Tal goes for the, for the more complicated variation. He plays queen to f3. And uh, here, of course, you do have to realize knight to d2, move will knight to d2, sorry. Uh, will fork the queen and the rook, but this would actually be a pretty bad move. If knight to d2 immediately, uh, then simply knight to h6, and uh, you can't capture the pawn, you have to play uh, king to h7 followed by queen to h5, this will be completely winning for white. Uh, if you capture the knight, then queen captures f7, check, uh, king h8, rook to f6, and there is no defense against rook captures on h6, you Carlsen would have to give up the queen. Uh, so after this queen to f3 move, uh, Carlsen has the option of playing queen to f6, and this would actually be perfectly fine for black, pretty much stops everything white had planned. Uh, but uh, as Carlsen knew that uh, Tal's plan was uh, was definitely knight to h6 check, uh, he played c captures on d4, uh, as he calculated that knight to h6 check doesn't work. Uh, but Baron goes for it, he plays knight to h6 check, Carlsen immediately captures, we have queen captures on f7, king to h8, and now c captures on d4, preparing d5, uh, opening up a discover check from the bishop to the king. Uh, Carlsen plays queen to g5, and here was the idea. d4, uh, d5 move doesn't work. If you play d5 immediately, uh, knight to e5, the rook and queen protect the knight on e5 very nicely, and after rook to f5, uh, Carlsen has knight to d6 uh, with a fork on the queen and the rook, and white doesn't have any compensation for the sacrificed piece. Uh, but instead, after this d5 move, Tal plays rook a to e1. And uh, again, uh, it's, a pretty, it's a very complicated position, and in this position Car Carlsen played queen to g7. And this is the move that actually gives uh, Tal Baron the upper hand. Uh, Carlsen missed in this position this uh, very uh, devious h3 move. Uh, what you have to calculate is d5 of course, knight to e5 defending from check, uh, queen to f3, now guarding g2, the knight can capture because it's pinned, 
uh, but now knight to d2 actually wins for black you fork the queen and the rook and this is a hard move to find queen captures on h3 and now king to g8 is actually the winning move for black uh, now black doesn't really have anything if rook captures rook captures bishop captures and queen captures uh, there is pretty much no compensation for the piece whatsoever uh, but as this is a blitz game uh, carlson was uh, better on time but uh, he didn't find this he played queen to g7 and now comes queen captures king captures and now d5 winning back the piece uh, if you block with knight to e5 then rook captures on, d on e4 is coming so king to g6 now pawn captures and here we have rook 8 to c8 uh, rook to f4 now with a double attack on d4 knight knight to c5 and here we have rook to f6 check and here Carlsen has two options king h5 and king to g5 uh, king to h5 allows him to play on it you know Baron was very low on time, he would have to work uh, hard to win this game. Uh, but Carlsen played king to g5, and here it's it's just over. Uh, rook to f1, uh, doubling up rooks and preparing rook to c1 check. And there is really no good way to stop this. Uh, Carlsen played h3, but this simply runs into mate in 5. Uh, we have bishop to c1 check by Tal, uh, king g4, rook to g6 check, king to h5, rook captures on h6 check king g4 and now a checkmate with a pawn uh, g captures on h3 and uh, this is checkmate so he was very satisfied about winning this game he won against a 2700 plus player you know everyone would be very satisfied and it was uh, only two months after this that he realized that uh, <laughs> uh, stop try hard stop try harding is actually magnus Carlsen's handle on icc so he went uh, back to check the logs and he saw that he indeed did play a game against uh, magnus Carlsen. So yeah, uh, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. And now I said I will uh, revisit uh, that uh, controversy I spoke of uh, in the beginning of the video. Now it was uh, it was it was regarding the title Tuesday event on Chess.com. Uh, Tal Baron was accused of cheating there of using an engine. Now how this is a this is a pretty uh, pretty big thing because uh, try googling Tal Baron Google will immediately offer to finish your sentence with Tal Baron cheating uh, so this is uh, like I said quite big but uh, I've spoken to Tal Baron uh, in the past year for a couple of a couple of times I've spoken to him over Skype uh, we spoke uh, about many things and this particular matter uh, about him cheating uh, what actually happened was he was playing a, a, a tournament a title Tuesday event on chess.com and uh, he won the tournament uh, he was accused of cheating in the last round of the tournament, but he already won the tournament before that last round even began. Uh, he was 8 out of 8, uh, and in the ninth round he faced uh, an opponent who he, knew he, who he knew was an engine user. So here he had a choice. You either play against an engine user and, uh, you know, voluntarily lose rating and points, or you can, I mean, there's really nothing you can do. If you know you're playing against an engine user, uh, only thing you can do is lose the game. Uh, but instead, uh, he used an engine of his own, and in the end, that game ended in a draw, which kind of proves that both of them were using an engine. Uh, for this, uh, he got his account on chess.com banned, and pretty much uh, no one ever really wanted to do any collaboration with him or anything. And what's the idea here? Uh, I mean, what would you do in that situation? <clears throat> uh, people said that... Uh, if he used the engine in the last round, then he probably used the engine in uh, all the other rounds and that he uh, probably uses the engine all the time. And after that uh, thing happened, then people started saying that he actually uh, probably used the engine in this game against Magnus Carlsen as well. And uh, while I can't really, I mean, I don't know what happened, I can only tell you from my personal experience, uh, I've spoken to him many times over Skype and uh, I, I don't think he's that kind of a person. Of course, he could be a sociopath, and I could totally judge his character incorrectly, but uh, then again, anyone on the internet who plays chess could be an engine user. Uh, I could be an engine user, and every one of you could be also an engine user. Uh, but uh, saying that publicly, that someone is an engine user, especially uh, Talbaron, who is a grandmaster who devoted his entire life to chess, uh, with a rating of almost 2600, I believe, is... Uh, without any ironclad evidence is uh, basically just a witch hunt and you know people do enjoy a good witch, witch hunt uh, one people uh, one person yells witch and you know they're already warming up the stake so i don't know uh, i i mean i 
checked this uh, situation out. I've uh, googled some ideas on Reddit and uh, such, and I've seen some evidence posted there, uh, but none of that is really evidence. They just said, you know, uh, he couldn't have played that great. And uh, okay, it does seem a bit suspicious that, uh, you know, he defeated a lot of ty strong, strong top grandmasters in that tournament. Uh, but saying that he cheated just because he couldn't possibly play that strong is just ridiculous. Uh, I remember two years ago I defeated a Fide Master in like 20 moves uh, simply because he attacked me and I had to play the uh, the only move to win that game or I would lose that game. So basically if you uh, put that game uh, on, you know, on analysis the computer will say I played every move like an engine. Uh, but I only, you know, I only found it the only move that could actually prolong the game and in the end I won a game in 20 moves against the Fide Master and there are a lot of uh, a lot of you know examples like this uh, but uh, saying that he cheated in any other instance because he simply played great is I don't know that's that's like formal logic that's what they use uh, to prove a woman is a witch to, to burn her on a stake so, uh, once again, I can't really prove that this is true or that this isn't true, but uh, I really hated that without any evidence to the contrary, people are publicly saying that uh, he's a cheater. And uh, But, yes, that's what I wanted to say. I can tell you that in that game against Magnus Carlsen, I will put a link in the description below. Uh, feel free to click on it. There you can see the game as it's played live uh, on his live stream. And you can uh, hear his thoughts about every move, uh, what he's thinking about. And uh, what I wanted to tell you that is that uh, for him to, uh, even though he doesn't know he's playing against Magnus Carlsen, but even if that were not the case, even if he knew that that was Magnus Carlsen, uh, since I told you I know Tal Baron and I've spoken to him many times, I can tell you that he is too big of a computer noob uh, to pull off something like that during live stream. I mean, I do videos, I do live streams. And there is no way uh, for you to be able to, to set up an engine to be able to use it on a website <clears throat> uh, midstream uh, so, uh, that it would work uh, properly, you know, especially in a three minute game. That's, that is not possible, especially not for Tal Baron, who, who is, I'm telling you, he's a computer noob. He, he, would, he, would, he has no idea how to set that up. So yeah. Uh, I didn't want to really get into into a lot of things here. I just uh, you know wanted to share my opinion on this on this channel here I run, and uh, I will put another link in the description below uh, where you can watch uh, Tal Baron's video where he explains what happens, and it's a pretty long video, so I recommend you watch it on on, on a double speed uh, because he was he was very emotional and grief stricken about uh, the entire thing here, uh, so you know it, it it's a pretty long video. So yeah, uh, basically this is the game I wanted to show you and uh, I hope you check out both of the links in the description below and figure out things for yourselves rather than just, uh, you know, googling Tal Baron, Baron cheats, that's, you know, that's just uh, what everyone else is doing. So yeah, uh, I would like to thank uh, Feliz Navidad for a contribution to my channel, thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching and uh, I will see you soon.